Good day, YouTubers. Welcome back to another video with the electrical guide. Today I want to show you how to simply test GFCI receptacles, ground fault circuit interrupting receptacles, usually found in your bathroom, uh, in your kitchen, maybe your basement, and your front and backyards of your house. Generally anywhere water is present, you want a ground fault circuit interrupting receptacle. So here I have one on the wall relatively new. It's got two buttons here. One says reset, one says test. They pretty much all have those two buttons, reset and test. Now you'll also see a little indicator here, LED indicator showing this is operational. So you want to test your GFIs, your GFCIs, sorry, maybe, I don't know, maybe once a month or once every two months, just to kind of make sure that they're still working because they are there to protect you. So you can just hit the test button and what you should hear is a little ka-chink and your reset button pops out. So it's got a bit of an edge here now. And I have another one here that you can see. This is kind of what it looks like when it pops out, right? You see it sort of sticking out there. Now, if your receptacle has power, when you press that reset button back in, sometimes it takes some force, you should hear a little chink and It'll stick and be flush with the front of your receptacle and potentially your LED will come back on. If your button sticks, your reset button sticks in, then you do have power here, which is good. If your reset button does not stick, like you can see this one's not staying in, obviously I have no power here, so it won't stick. So you can always tell if your GFCI has power if this button stays in when you push it. And of course you can test it with the test button and it should pop back out again, showing that it is operational. Now, a lot of the times in residential settings, people have GFIs, GFCIs, protecting other plugs that may not have buttons on the front. So a common problem is maybe your front porch receptacle is not working or your backyard receptacle is not working. A lot of the time, it's because a GFCI somewhere in your house has been tripped like this is right now, right? I reset button sticking out, my light is off, I've hit the test button. So you're gonna go around your house and you're gonna just make sure that all of your receptacles are working and the reset button is sticking in. And a lot of the time what you'll find is that simple, just that simple check is enough to get some of the receptacles that don't work in your house to work again. Now you'll see on the back of this one, the word load and the word line. So a lot of the times receptacles are wired off of the load side of the last GFCI in line. And what that does is it protects all the other receptacles that come off that load side. So it might not look like this, but it will still be GFCI protected likely, which is why even if it doesn't have buttons, Outside, it could still be protected by GFCI tripping, which is why you're going to check this reset button everywhere in your house. And likely, that's all it's going to take to get your receptacles working again. And your parents, or your wife, or your friends are going to thank you and think you're a wizard. Thanks for watching another video with the Electrical Guide. Please be sure to like and subscribe.